Okay, hi everyone. Um, so today we're going to be talking about hemivertebrates and the effects that they have on the spine. So to give you an idea of what a hemivertebrate is, normally what happens is when you're born, you have vertebrae in your spine and they line up one on top of the other. <clears throat> and like we said before, between them, you have almost like a piece of rubber. And I've drawn, I drew these off a little bit. But anyways, you have like a piece of rubber in here, um, which is not rubber, but just to give you an idea. And that's called the disc. All right, and that's between my vertebrae. So the vertebrae are the bone, the backbone, the bones of the spine. And then between them, you got disc. So here's what happens when you have a hemivertebrate. Let me draw one more in here real quick. Um, and these are pretty rectangular. Normally they're more square. And again, once again, here's my disc right here and here. Let me see if I can make this into a better C. All right, and let me see if I can make this into a better S. There we go. Okay, so there's my disc. And this is a disc right down in here too, okay? And they act like shock absorbers, which I think I said on the scoliosis video. What happens when you have a hemivertebrae is instead of having these stacked up, oops, and I don't want to do that yet, so let me go like this. Let me erase that guy. Um, and instead of having these stacked up, what's going to happen is I'm going to draw my hemivertebrae once or before. So I get a hemivertebrae like this. And then what can happen is that will throw off the vertebrae above. And I should have left some room for the disc in there. And that, well, actually, there is room for the disc in here. Okay. And so um, sometimes it may affect the disc below too. Normally happens in the uh, right in the middle of the back, but then you can still have this disc that's in here that's squished in there. And then if I go up, you're going to see what it can create is some curvature of the spine. If you recall in the last video of scoliosis, we talked about. Um, how a hemivertebrae can actually cause the scoliosis. So this is this would be the hemivertebrae right here. Hemi, I think, means half. And so um, that would be it right there. All right. And I'm not going to spell out the whole word hemivertebrae. In fact, I think what I'm going to do is I got something right here I need to move. I am going to go like this just to save time. I'm going to take this word here, and then we're going to go like this. And you can see right here is the hemivertebrae. All right, so let's get ready to go on. Let me just erase some of this stuff. These are not that common. Uh, sometimes they may not even cause any problems. So um, let's go on. And you can see now, if we look down here, this is my hemivertebrae. By the way, this is the low back right here. This is a part of the pelvis. That's a part of the pelvis. This is the low back. So you can see these all right here should actually be lined up straight like this. But you can see how it's pushing off the side. Obviously, this is the hemivertebrae right here. Um, that's it right there. It's right here. Okay, that's my hemivertebrae right there. So you can see how it's it's playing an effect on there and causing the spine to squish down. But you see how the spine kind of comes back anyways and is straight here? So um, it does push it off here. Sometimes it'll be enough to push it off that the person has scoliosis. You can see there is some curvature going this way and then it's gonna come back the other way. So let's go on. I said just a second ago, normally it's gonna affect the eighth um, cervical vertebrae. I'm sorry, thoracic vertebrae. Let me go back real quick. So if we look, um, there's probably an easier way to go from pencil to mouse than what this is allowing me to do. But this is my eighth vertebrae right here. So if you're curious about where that's at, um, this is the bottom of my shoulder blades right here. The bottom of your shoulder blades usually line up with about C7. So, oops, and so my eighth would be right here. So I said here, it should actually be right here. Okay. 
Um, and then I have my shoulder blade. So if you want to get an idea for where these are at, I'll actually tell you right there. Okay. Now, sometimes what will happen, in fact, I'm going to go back real quick. Sometimes what will happen is that we will get, um, because this is pinching, let's go back one more. Because this is pinching, you actually have some nerves that come out from You actually have some nerves that come out from the spine right around in these areas in here and they, they're supposed to come out so these nerves go all over the body right because don't forget this is protecting your spinal cord so these are going to go out all over the body well what happens in a hemivertebrae is sometimes the vertebrae will actually push pressure on the nerves they come out through little openings, which I'll show you in just a minute. That was the one picture you saw just a second ago. So if we go forward, you can see, let me erase these. You can see right here, the nerves are coming out through little openings, right? And I don't know why they have this one pinched because if you notice, it's got the it looks like it has the biggest opening back here anyways, but they're showing it being pinched off. So um, the nerves can be pinched off here. And when they do, then it's going to affect the rest of the body. And if you also notice here, there's some degeneration that's in here too. These discs would be nice and big like this. Right, but if you look, you can notice these are being squished here. And they're put, and like I said, and they're going to be putting pressure on the nerves. This one's probably pinched off a little bit too, and eh, maybe a little bit there. Okay. Now, if it's pinching in a certain way, it can also cause you to stoop over. If the hemivertebrae is far enough in the front. It can cause you to um, be stooped over. And that is it for a hemivertebrae. So once again, if you have any questions, you can contact me on Remind. And for right now, we're going to go ahead and end the meeting.